What up, VBL and assorted VGC Draft League community? It is Season 13, the low-tier format. You are going to see some sussy teams, but some of them are really good. The quality of the of the, the coaches is high, as always. Uh, we have the folks. Folks, introduce yourself. I'm one of the folks. I'm James. I've been around since the beginning. One of the oldest. Just barely not as old as Daddy. Fuck you. <laughs> it's good and I, I'm the oldest one. All right, uh, put me on Front Street. Why don't? Oh, I didn't make a sound. That's really no. Cool. I heard it. I heard it. Yeah, and there is a sound. Let's let's amplify that in the real video. Love you guys. Love you. Gotta up the DBs there. Uh, I'm Sukaba. I'm here for a good time and for some draft analysis. Let's do it. Subscribe to Sakaba. Subscribe to most of these guys because I'm not going to be doing like a lot of EGC. I'm trying to do other things in my life, including get married. But let's uh, <laughs> move on and look at these teams. It's good to be back in the best league. We have Camo, uh, now a veteran at this point. Camo's been with us a while. I mean, he makes some really interesting teams and he's had some good success with them. So uh, who wants to talk about this? Also, Bohm and Purple are here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, no. Of course. Purple, the newest old. Uh, Bohm, the long Cheers. time, every time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Welcome back. It's all good. Bohm is oh. very old, too, by the way. It's I am. Just me and James. I just <laughs> I just choose not to say anything. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who's starting with camo, but these oh. first two picks, yeah. it, like the faith in the primate, I truly respect because this thing has been insane in normal formats and in a low tier, I think it's just going to pop off. I, I don't know who's going with camo. It, yeah. it went from 30 I... kills camo in, se in a couple seasons back to like nobody giving it a try next, last season. <laughs> it's just like it goes back to obscurity immediately, but maybe this is the time again. Yeah, yeah so I, I had it last season, and I don't think I used it that well. <laughs> there you go. So I, I, I was looking at this team before, earlier, and I don't really get it. Like, I get the first two picks, obviously. Frost Breath, Primate, makes sense. Crit, you can crit the prim, Primate, Anger Point, it'll do a lot. And Camo, if anybody can do it, it's Camo, right? Camo is the one who got... Yeah, <laughs> Camo's done it before. But then the rest of the picks are kind of what confused me a lot. I don't get the Kingdra. You don't have a great rain setup. It's the dragon um, chair setup for yeah, the sure. for Draco. Yeah. Uh, it just seems less consistent. Yeah, I would have liked if, a fast, a random rain dance. Like, but there just, are ran, rain dances, yeah. but none of them are fast enough. I guess except for Frostlass, maybe. Yes, but yeah. uh, And then Dockspun, I guess like you have Salazzle next to it. Uh, lava Plume? But, with I don't lava, think it plume. Has lava Plume. No. Uh, yeah, I don't think it gets it. If it doesn't it have does. Lava Plume. Magby does, though. Magby, baby. But then, but then Magby is clicking Lava Plume. <laughs> this um. is an ambitious early baby redirector. I think I kind of like it, though. Oh, I love Magby. Yeah. Like, I think it makes sense to totally get some redirection, but then I want more single Mon setup than this team has. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. I guess Low Kicks could click Sword Stance or something. Uh... Like, like, there's a lot of pieces individually, which I really like, given the proper support around them, or I like the support pieces, given the proper sweepers, but I'm not sure they're put together in a way which I love. And then also, when you look at the chart, like, I think the ground weakness is a bit of a problem when, like, to mitigate that, you'd have to either bring Go Goat or Low, Ki Low Kicks a lot, and Low Kicks isn't bulky enough to make that work, and Go Goat isn't good enough to want to bring it a lot. So you're saying in your expert analytical opinion, the vibes are off? The vibes are a bit off for this team, for <laughs> sure. I don't, uh, this on the substance of what you're saying, I think I agree. We're kind of a little bit light on some tools. Uh, we're a little, like, we're kind of a little bit into sauce of like, I can do this really cool thing, but can I do the like, every day I need to live hits, every day I need to pump out some consistent damage. I'm not sure, but like, some of these pieces are good. Like the weird gear looks good with Primeape we believed in. So Lazzle, I think is very good at, mm -hmm. at this power level. So it's like, you just need need to be in the chef, in in the, in the kitchen cooking up something really spicy and weird, and then I think this team can do it. But it's not going to be able to win like very solid trading hits classic games. I feel like it's going to be a little bit behind in, in in games where I can't pull off some sauce. Yeah, I, I'd say this this team is like actually one of the faster teams we've looked at in this conference. Yeah. You know, we have Korea a 110. 117 cap is is pretty high. A lot of other teams we saw cap out of like 100 or 110. That having that extra juice, Salazzle is going to be the fastest thing a lot of the time. Um, Lower than Doug Trio. 
Sorry. <laughs> fair, fair. Um, interestingly, though, we don't have any mon that can set Tailwind because we don't really have a flying type. Um, which, you know, and I don't want to so say is... flying types on this board. I, right. And I, I don't want to say it like yeah. needs a Tailwind setter, but like at the same time, when you have a team that wants to be operating so quickly, you know, you have these fast mons, like Trick Room is not going to be your go to in a lot of situations when you're facing another team that's fast. So it becomes kind of easy if you're playing against a team where it's like, okay, I can set Tailwind and then I'm definitely going first. And then it may be harder for something like a Salazzle Kingdra to be to work because you know you're not going first with kingdra unless you have the rain up but then how are you setting that up like there's a lot like i think the fast things are gonna have to do a lot like frostlass and salazzle have to be clicking thunder wave or icy wind or something to like a lot of the time to maybe like have you keep that speed advantage that you have when you invest in such a fast team um so i think you could have benefited from like a lower tier like slow bulky tailwind setter just to have it as the option to just keep up with those faster teams but yeah i don't know it just seems like not like a cohesive unit so yeah so we've nailed this team on some of some of the weirder aspects but trying to figure out what exactly is a good team in the low tier format is going to be hard so you will see that as we rate more teams i think this is going to end up on the middle lower middle b team like as in yeah, it's camo can get in the playoffs but it's, his it's path kind of be a very than most other it's kind of a very top heavy team that took its top heavy in rounds six, seven, and eight. Yeah, a lot of points sunk into here, and he he like uh, yeah. he did some pick trading uh, in order to get Salazzle Kingdra right right together. So I'll leave this segment by saying, Camo, I think this team has plenty of tools and plenty of upside, uh, but you're just gonna have to be crafty. So show us what you got. Onwards to the baby team, B Braff and Liberty Veloxrace. Right. All right. Didn't yeah. even notice. Is nope. Ursaring a baby? No. Nope. I mean, technically, yeah, it's, it's a not fake baby. They, yeah. This team has got a couple fake babies. Yeah. We got. I mean, honestly, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be real. This is a good team considering team, the draft yeah. restriction. This is like probably one of the best NFE teams you could draft. Like, that he made I mean, some it's really just all the best NFEs. Yeah, so, yeah, it is. Of course it is. Well, but luckily, <laughs> none of the. It could have been worse. Like, if Ursaring went before round five, like, you know what I mean? Like. I, this is a good result, I think, for for a draft plan like this. And amazingly, somehow, he drafted a team with 11 NFEs, and there's like not that much Eviolite competition. Like Fletchender probably doesn't want an Eviolite. Like you could just run Sash. Same with Sneasel. Pikachu, you could just use Light Ball. Ursa Rings, fine. We hold in a Flame Orb. You know, uh, Haunter, you know, throw a Choice Scarf on it. Whatever. Basculin, Pikachu needs. Hit, Pikachu hit. has to have Sash. Pikachu is so bad. Well, okay, but that's still, it's not running Eviolite, regardless. Like, Basculin, just throw a band on it. Toad School wants the Eviolite. Scyther wants the Eviolite. Duraludon wants it, probably, most times. And obviously, that can be flexible as well. So I think that's, like, a win right there, just that you have 11 NFEs, and you've consolidated your Eviolite usage. Um, but I think the Duraludon is, like, a solid first pick. I really think this is, I'm high on this mon, on this board, in this format. It's gonna be so hard to break this thing. I mean, you have a base stat of defense of 115, boosted with Eviolite. One iron defense and any physical heavy team is gonna have a really tough time breaking this. And when you combine that with pretty decent support options, the Fletchender giving it some speed, Sneasel can be there for fake out support, help it get an iron defense off. You know, you have a trick room mode, I guess, for the Ursa Ring. I, I do think the fact that your two trick room setters are Toad School and Haunter is not ideal because they're both kind of, mm, I don't know. Yeah, it seems like this is mainly a go fast and our, our, our solution for surviving hits is to kill you. So yeah. like, that's like, Specs Haunter is definitely going to take some shots, including Pikachu. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, I'm, I, I, I am, will agree with your optimism about Duraludon, at least in the context of this team. And while Ursaring shares a fighting weakness, in other ways, I think it is a pretty good compliment as another mom that can take a hit. Like, it's got a very solid special defense, so that's where Duraludon's weak. You can make this guy Assault Vest, Eviolite, if it can grab it some weeks. Um, and it can really be really, really tanky with Eviolite. 
Light. So I mm -hmm. think it can it can uh, operate in different ways, being the physical attacker to Duraludon, special attacker. It can be like rest talk, and then while it's sleeping, its attacks have the guts boost. Um, you can you can use this guy in Tailwind with Fletchinder. You can side Will O Wisp to give it the guts boost. Like I think there's a lot of spice that can make Ursaring really good, and I've been waiting for this mod to show its full potential, and this is the time, like in a low tier format. Yeah, like you can do all this stuff, but we have Duraludon, we have Ursa Ring, and maybe Scyther. Everything else just dies. It just dies, guys. That's just oh no, we know we're is. committed. Brab knows he's committed. Like to, to he has to go first and he has to kill you. But like given yeah. that restriction that like this is a go fast kill things team, it's pretty good at that. Like it's got the speed, the it's got disruption. Great. Yeah. Yeah. And without Fletcher, the restriction, it's not great. Well, right? yeah, that, that's how much that <laughs> matters. How much you believe in the aggro is basically how much you believe in the team. Yeah, I don't believe in the aggro personally. I I do believe Fletchinder Gale Wings Tailwind is the fastest Tailwind in the format, correct? Mm -hmm. I don't think there's any way that someone can get a Tailwind off first. Well, we'll fake out into Fletchinder and then Tailwind yeah, themselves. But, I mean, I think a lot of times when you use a Talonflame variant, you're running Terra Ghost if it's vital to your game plan. So if they lead the fake out mon, you just, you just click it and it's fine. But then you but lose then... your Terra on the other mons that need it to survive. Yeah. I, but I feel like if the... That sometimes you're willing to trade that if it gives you the speed advantage, especially when you pair it, the tailwind lead with like a really strong attacker. Like if you like Draco something with Duraludon and just kill it, it could be worth. It, it maybe could be sometimes. Maybe it's harder to pull off in low. But you just mix up. Sometimes it's tailwind, sometimes it's fake out, sometimes it's scarf icy wind. Like we definitely have the mix ups to go first when yeah. we want to. Redirection as well. Mm-hmm. Like, it's really good, it's, given the restriction, but it's like, how do we rate this? I feel like we might need to go back and, and shuffle around this team. Um, because, yeah, it has to go first, but it can do that a lot of the time. It has to, like, uh, live hits, but, like, some of these mods can. It, I, it's not a, not a strong point in the team, but, like, some of the mods can. So I'm thinking this team's going to end up above average, but I'm thinking some of the folks on this call are not quite as optimistic as I am. I think this team's really bad. <laughs> it's weird. I don't know what I think about it. It's it's a C tier team for me. Like it has, it's it's not the worst team that we've seen. Yeah, I don't I think, agree. but it's like it has such clear weaknesses to me that it can't be a good team. It could All be, it could it. make it to playoffs, but you know, it is like a good average run of the mill team. It's okay, well, bad. given the restriction, good job, Raf. Uh, go baby team. Onwards to the Palde and Pancakes, coach by Pancake MX. Heck, a mix? Yes. Um, uh, welcome back. This team's really exciting. Uh, I, I like. I, I I wanted to just hype it up in general. Like the fact that we got these two competitive mons, and then we got the skill swap intimidate, and we make them go boom. Like we got speed, we got tools, we got bramble gas kills everything. Like this mon is like what survives a bramble gas in a low tier format? Not a lot. Uh, and like we have disquake spam with the Gliscor and the Kilowattrol and the Telepathy Rabska. This team is both saucy and I feel like it has the numbers and the multipliers to be very powerful and, and go first. So it's like, then the team's really great, right? There's my simplistic analysis. Tell me why I'm wrong or why I'm We right. have a third competitive Mon too in Wigglytuff and this is a team that sure, actually sure. kind of enables it, right? Yeah, I wonder if Wigglytuff might be playable on this board. That's what I was thinking too. <laughs> Wigglytuff yeah. is bad, it's, but it's with this fine. team, honestly, it's truly you get the terrible. <laughs> you get the Intimidate up and then you get the competitive. Not. And, and it's a fairy type, which it's, is like not, a lot, not right? there's none. So getting a fairy type at what is it three points? It has some value. Yeah, I I feel like I'm gonna go back to Wiggly Tough is bad and you shouldn't draft it. But I I also feel like I just gave it an honest shot there while I was thinking about it. But we also have the Rabska to set Trick Room and to revive something like you know the the Gliscor or the Empoleon, which can be pretty bulky. You know, I I I, thought I really like the options on this team. The Bramble Gas with the Wind Rider ability. Uh, there's just so many cool little tech pieces. I think Charger Bug is going to be great. With mm -hmm. Eviolite, it's really bulky. It's got Electroweb. It's got the battery ability. And when you compound that with the competitive that you can trigger for yourself, this team has some really cool options. I'm really excited to see this team. Good job, Pancake. I like this team. Do we believe that Empoleon can act like a top tier in a low tier format? Yeah. Like, it's bulky, great great typing, competitive. Like, it seems like it's got the tools, but, like, it historically has not been that great a Pokemon. I, 
think more teams are going to resort to icy winds in a lower tier format and i might be wrong about that but i just think because i i don't know i i see a lot of support pokemon with icy winds that are relatively yeah. high value and if you have that then competitive becomes more valuable mm-hmm. and so i think uh, bramble gas absorbs icy wind yeah then you're running kilowatts will perform in its new status as the, the fastest tailwind besides fletchinder or besides that that whole line like it, it's a mon that people are generally disappointed with it needs a boost to get to, to be strong but like if, if if you don't if you aren't concerned about kilowattrol or empoleon then like this team is top tier then because it's got a lot of sauce a lot of synergy a lot of a lot of different tools so it's like yeah. you you need to be concerned about some of the pieces to not think this team's fantastic in my opinion yeah i think the I only think knock yeah i can think of is if, if your opponent gets trick room up what are you doing at that point I mean, there's not a lot. I mean, yeah, Rapska can maybe reverse it for you, but I mean, you've got to be, you've got to have it out on the field to do it. Stantler is so Rock bulky with intimidation. Um, you know what? I always forget about like, Stantler. Yeah, yeah, it can kind of just hang out. And, yeah. And Polion also can can survive through Trick Room and be yeah. threatening. Yeah, I think if Polion okay. is roots, doesn't it? gonna be good on yeah. this team. I mean, you know, right. you've, yeah. this is one of my favorite teams in the Me too. Yeah, too. I like this team a lot. All I right, think cool. my final. Um, there's just I've... not that many fighting types, and you've got two reasonable yeah, flying types and a ghost to yeah. kind of handle those yeah, like, fighting look, look, types. We, got we know we're gonna have to tear yeah. around it. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. But like, Perfect, but yeah, I, I'm into it. I th- I'm really into it. Team. Like, we might have to recalibrate, and everyone will drop their tier list at the end in the server anyway. Um, but that I'm really hyped. So good job, pancakes. Well, Onwards to uh, your boy coming back as the Calgary Hearth Flames. Welcome back, your boy. Yeah, I'm. I mean, I'm. I'm liking kind of a lot of the things he's got. I mean, he's got like some form of sand mode here with sand kind of like rock. Alchemy's always seems like a solid fairy mod for this format with decorate. Um, I'm not too familiar with its full move set, but mostly just um, decorate, click fairy moves, come on. Yeah. Uh, Hunch Grow huh? abilities though. Respect. yeah right honchkro i think honchkro i think could be good in this format i normally don't think it's a great mon i mean its defenses aren't stellar but it's got pretty strong attack and i think i think if you get it rolling moxie always is nice to have super Lux not a bad ability either but i mean you're probably gonna run moxie more so i would think um so, right. solid, i'm so uncomfortable there. with the idea sorry to interrupt you Bob. but like you're good you're is, good. is Santaconda? Like, I'm so uncomfortable with the idea that Sandaconda is a good Pokemon because I'm so used to it being bad. But, like, yeah. it's ground type, it's it's fine, it can set sand for like and rock. Is it good now, or do I, are my instincts right that this is still a bad Pokemon? I mean, it might be good, right? 107 yeah. attack, 125 defense in a mostly physical world. Yeah. It might be good. Um,. Uh, it's probably doing one Mon's worth of damage most of the time between mm-hmm. enabling Lycanroc to do more than one Mon's worth of damage yeah. and then, like, cleaning some stuff up with, uh, like, an Earthquake or a, a Rock Tomb or, a, uh, yeah, maybe it's good enough. But Let me tell you what I think is the best thing about the team is you scar the Acrimi and you decorate an Ambi Palm or a Lycan Rock and you just kill things, right? Because these are yeah. good speed stats, these are good attack stats in this format. You, and then, then, then your mix up is you run Trick Room with a pretty good setter, pretty good sweeper. And that then that's the team. It doesn't need to be more complicated than that. I think everything else, when you look into the details, I'm kind of confused about some of the details. But like, uh, that, I mean, some of those like simple strats really really work and i think there's some good ones here yeah if i'm looking at the mods i like on this team it's alchemy it's ambipom it's trevenant it's sligu hasui it's duosian 70 percent of the time and it's stragalgy when duosian's bad well the rest of the team i'm not as into I the like team looks Rocka, very I low tier, but I think some yeah. of the pieces for a good team are here. So it's a, it's a little hard to evaluate, at least compared to some of the other teams we've been ranking. You bring your ice moves and your ground moves, especially freeze dry. If you have anything with that, I mm-hmm. think this team really struggles. Okay, is the is the bulk bad or is it terrible? I think it's maybe oh, maybe not terrible, but not great. It's okay. I mean, it's right. I mean, we don't we don't have a real intimidate user, right? 
one yeah. defense stat over a hundred in a physically weighted environment. Yeah, I mean, uh, no, bulky. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's fair. Relative. I think we're gonna end up somewhere. How does how does this compare to Camo's team, where we have the the sauce, but some of the uh, some of the things we wanted weren't there, versus this has some sauce, but it actually it seems a little bit more well it seems like it has some of the stronger sauce but it has feels like we're missing in some areas as well i don't know yeah they feel pretty comparable to me yeah. i think i like it a little more than camos but like it's pretty similar right yeah I like okay camos well a little more but yeah agreed they're I, to me, they're pretty comparable teams show us the sauce show us the banded sucker punch and the scarf who's what's it and this team will, will definitely steal some wins and also earn some wins the good old-fashioned way. Uh, good to have you back, you boy. Onwards to the Flippin' Flamigos, coached by LS. All right. I got a whole bunch of notes on LS's team here. Oh, so real just, notes, not daddy. Let me, just, let me just talk about this here real what quick. What do you mean? They're upstairs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Are they in the room with us right now? Reuniclus. <laughs> uh, gonna be good oh that's I don't know. fine in the whole format <laughs> yeah. sorry go on i don't know how people are gonna handle de- like reunifus like um i would have liked to maybe see a better secondary trick room set than grump pig because it's kind of just reuniclus but worse so when are you ever actually gonna bring it but besides that reuniclus it's gonna be a problem right um it also doesn't really look like it's a stipulation draft like i know ls was uh, giving his wife pick from these each round, but I guess when you just give them the right options, it doesn't matter whether they pick, and then your team just ends up pretty good. Um, the you we, you do so you've got the reunicles, re- which is going to be a problem. Teams are going to have to prepare for it, but then all the rest of the offense basically is physical offense, right? You've got the ride on, you've got the bear tick. You've got uh, Hisuian, uh, Decidueye, Heracross, and Mabostiff. Lots of physical attackers. So it's going to be tough for a team to have answers to everything, right? Um, we have two. We have an Intimidate Punisher, and then this mod ignores Intimidate. So a little... Bit and a Burn Punisher. What's that? Right? Oh, yes, a Heracross. A Heracross class, so, it, right? so it's you You do the reverse on him. You Iron Defense Body Press, and then yeah. it's a little hard. Um... I would like to see a better way for Heracross to be going first than is really available here, right? Like Heracross is kind of too too fast. This is the Mm -hmm. slowest team in the conference, though. Yeah, it Uh, is the slowest team overall. Yeah. But Heracross is kind of like, you don't necessarily want Heracross to be doing things in Trick Room. It's kind of too fast for that to be practical i mean you know it doesn't have to be slow it just has to be slowest and if you're facing a fast team maybe it is slowest sure um but um it's it the, the, seems like it might be a little frail overall as a team but we do have things like mabostiff intimidate to to deal with that some right we've got growl with intimidate also but i i really don't think ls is going to be bringing growl that often when you've got the war portal that's an Eviolite hog, so now you just have to have Growlithe just raw dogging it out with like a, a sash or something like that, or a Shuka berry, and then raw like, dogging it. <laughs> it's like, like what, what, what is Growlithe doing without an Eviolite? He's just raw dogging it. Uh, watching this. Well, this is an eight man team. Well, I mean, Grumpig like is not terrible, but you're right that it's, that it's, it it's could be hard good. to be distinct from. Reuniclus. Yeah, when you've got a premier when psychic type offensive trick room setter in Reuniclus, what are what is Grumpig bringing to the table there? Um, we'll put respect on Rhydon's name. Great Pokemon should have never been a not fully evolved Pokemon. So is stupid with Eviolite. You tear a fairy and you win. Um, but it totally, yeah, Rhydon. Kind of competing yeah. with it, but if but assuming we get over that conflict, like. I, I'm kind of into a lot of these attackers. I think it is a fair point that they do skew heavily physical. If Reuniclus can really pull the weight, like Tay won a season where he won the low tier season where he had all physical attackers and a Zerkatry. And like, that's the thing is like, well, a Zerkatry is a whole problem in itself. So, oh, there it is. All right. Zoom keeps booting us out. 
how, how dare you not let us use your product for free forever. Um, but now we're on Discord voice, so you probably know our voices by now. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty good team. We have criticisms, but we like to yell at clouds. So uh, how do we feel in relative to some of the other teams we've ranked today? Um, I, I like I think it's like a low B tier team for me. I think it's good, but has some problems. You right took like, the words right out of my mouth. That's exactly where I placed. There's it. like some missing typings I would like to see, right? Obviously it's some of the types that there's not a lot of, right? A steel type would be great on this team. A uh, fairy type would be great on this team. A real fire type would be great on this team. Yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. Um we have the other well, teams. Well, Most of the teams we've ranked, uh, your Brafs, uh, Camos, and, and your boys are in B. Does it compare favorably to any of them, or are you putting it at the bottom of B? Braff is in D. Come on now. Get yeah, I've got Braff in C tier. Well, uh, but I, I I think it's better than Braffs, but I I agree with James. I think it's going to lean pretty heavily on the Reuniclus and the Rhydon to a lesser extent. Um, I would like to see a little more special offense outside of the Reuniclus because that's really the only threat, unless you count Rotom, which I don't. We're almost there, LS, and considering the the wife-approved restriction, pretty good team, honestly. Yeah, I like it. I think it's a decent team. Yep. All right, we have Sam X, the commissioner of the league. He likes his bulk. He likes his trick room. And he's got stuff. Man, and me and that... Sam X draft so similarly. I know Daddy is going to... I'm going to eviscerate this, for this real, team. But <laughs> these are mons that I like, right? Uh, Slow King, Copperaja, Luxray. No, I, 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 when I first looked at this team, I was like, oh, this team kind of sucks. But then I remembered it was low tier. And I was like, actually, I think this team's pretty good. And we talked about, was it LS's team or one of them we said was, you know, the slowest team in the conference. But really, this is the most threatening trick room mode, in my opinion. I think Kaparaja and Slow King are very solid together in trick room. You're not going to get much slower than that. Um, there's some redirection with Centret, which is going to come in clutch some weeks. I think Driftblim is absolutely huge in this format. Mm -hmm. I think the ability to set Tailwind or Trick Room is really nice. And this team has speed tiers all over the place. So Driftblim is going to play a really vital role here in being able to set the pace. And I think you can bring Tailwind or Tailroom a lot of weeks uh, and really dictate the pace of the match when you have slow king and copperaja there's not a lot of teams that are going to compete with that in trick room and then you can just surprise somebody by going fast and luxray has guts luxray has a good attack stat and this is a low tier format i feel like luxray is one of those mons that's always kind of been on the fringes of well sometimes maybe it's good in high tier formats and i think in a low tier format with an intimidate which is relatively rare uh and a really solid trick room and the ability to go fast in some situations i think it's very good this team is top heavy so you know we're gonna see five of those top six mons just about every week but i do think that they synergize together really well uh and uh even though i hate samax everybody knows this i like this team Best rivalry. Yeah, this agree. This is Luxury's time. Driftblim huge. You can see beyond the numbers here. The Driftblim will be off in doubling its speed, and same with Minior with the Shell Smash. And it will turn into a 120 speed if you break it. Zoroark feels good here to me. Like, mm -hmm. you want you want a way to stop or to dissuade playing passively, like a... Uh, well, I mean, I guess... Anyways, you want a way to stop a... Like, a way to... Um, What's it called? Uh, the, the dark move that deals damage based off attack. Foul play. To, uh, foul play into Driftblim or something. Or just dark moves into Slow King and Driftblim that could both potentially trick room. Uh, Zoroark is a good fast option that will really be able to dissuade some teams from, from clicking those moves, uh, especially when they see it in team preview, preview. And because you don't have any low tiers that you're really dying to bring, you can bring Zoroark a lot just as a threat into team into team preview i'm with you like terrible. this is a this is a trick room setup a lot of the time that's going to be hard to stop so people have to bring their setup and then when you get randomly zoroarked because it's actually a zoroark you're going to lose turn one seems pretty hard like that basic mix-up seems pretty good that said you do just kind of u-turn these three whoops yeah 
Yeah, but I, I, I like the depth. I think, uh, yeah, with, with Daddy here, I think uh, this team gets better when you look at it more. So do we have our first in A tier? Um, is there anyone uh, more detracting of the team, more concerned? I think it's an A tier team. I like pancakes yeah, better. Yeah, I think it's an A tier team. Great. Well then, well I don't think I like it as much as yours, Jordan. So I think it's at the bottom of my A tier. But okay. yeah, I think it's an A tier team. Yeah, and I think it makes all the sense. difference with the, the team that had Galarian Slowking where we put in B tier. I think Camos because like Slowking is just rock solid with that with that um, the water typing and the taunt immunity. It's like this is this is how you lead a trick room mode that you don't even need to invest your whole team into, right? Uh, like the, we have fast mode, but this is a really good trick room mode, as has been said. So a teacher. Onwards. All right, we're back after technical difficulties. We got two teams to go. Two teams. We got uh, Barnosa, a new coach, the Cult of Cursula. And JDB was giving us very insightful analysis before we had technical difficulties. All right, so I'm going to do everything I did again, and then we're going to have a little argument like we did already, and we're going to see how it goes the second time. <laughs> is Braviary um, great, or is it sus? <laughs> that is what we're going to get to, but I have some other things I want to say first. Um... This is a like a full team. We'll, we'll see how much I can get the words exactly the same. We'll never know. Uh, this is a full team of like third to sixth picks, right? Bisharp, you don't want to take round one in a non-low tier draft, but you're more than happy to have it round three, round four, when you want like a cheap-ish steel type that's going to be able to do functional things uh, and not blow your budget. Um, Go Lurk is an okay, like late round ground type. Um, you got the like cheap ish pairing of Taurus combat and Cryogonal in the get like some anger point stuff going on, stuff like that. Or Corio is a good cheap tailwind setter, uh, with uh, like ghost form or Corio, right? Um, yeah, yeah, uh, maybe this is Cyclozar is gonna be good, like maybe a low tier board is what it needs to be good, right? It's got. You know, it's got fast knockoff. That's nice. Uh, Dragon Cheer, something else that's Terra Dragon. Sure. Um, it can, Dragon you know, it can substitute God. and shed tail. Yeah. Yeah, it can drag it. Like, maybe, maybe Cyclozar is good now. Uh, maybe it's still a trap. We'll know in seven weeks. Um, I like, it's got a pretty good Tailwind Setter. It's got a pretty good Trick Room Setter and Spiritomb. I am high on Braviary Hisui. Uh, I think... It's going to be good on a low tier board, uh, mostly because of Sheer Force Life Orb. Although, as it was pointed out in the, the lost recording, Tinted Lens, also a very good ability, and finally, a good Pokemon gets it. Um, moves but that are. Psychics uh, are bad. Counterpoint. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Counterpoint. Well, let me do Go my quick purple. list, right? Hurricane, oh. Air Slash, Heat Wave, Psychic, Shadow Ball probably other stuff but i got tired of looking at the sheer force list yeah they, they all these get are all, force boost yeah these are all moves that the braviary gets uh tell me why i'm wrong about braviary so having had it and yeah. barely using it so you know maybe i'm wrong there's always the chance i'm wrong but there was a reason i barely used it uh and the reasoning is that it's an a psychic type psychic type which doesn't have great supportive moves so it wants to be offensive in part because it has sheer force and tinted lens like which are both good offensive abilities yep. uh sheer force is still going to be good with it but the problem is psychic types are bad when you're using them offensively i think almost universally i had metagross last season i could not i almost never got to use it psychic type offensively uh it just felt bad to have a lot of the time and i feel the same way about bravery hisui when i had it um because Psychic type doesn't hit things super effectively a lot, which means if you want to oko things, you want to hit something super effectively generally. Uh, and so you'll be resorting to coverage moves. And if you're resorting to coverage moves, you need to hit something super effectively, which means tinted lens is useless. So you need to be using sheer force a lot. But if you're using sheer force, you're relying on hitting things super effectively with coverage, which is bad. Like you just can't do that consistently. So that's why I'm like not very high on Braviary Hisui. Uh, I don't think it's horrible. Like it's got good enough stats. It's bulky-ish, yeah. or is it pretty bulky generally? But like, it just doesn't. It may be in a low tier that's good enough for fourteen. Mm -hmm. But even eighty speed would have been nice. Sixty-five is not. 
exciting. Yeah, yeah it is a little slow, but you know, maybe Oricoria gives it a little boost, right? Uh, let's just go faster. Maybe, maybe Psychic. Yeah, Star, I mean, yeah. maybe Cryogonal. Not, not to harp on the Braviary because there's. A ten over Pokemon on this team. Ten other I think Pokemon. It, yeah. and it's, it's an important a team. All the other it is. Pokemon deserve mention. Yeah, it is. Yeah. However, I do think that Braviary is a really important piece here. So, I obviously I drafted it as well. So I may be a little biased because that I like it as a Pokemon in this low tier board. And I just want to say that I think with creative use in this low tier format. Braviary does not necessarily need to face those limitations. And yes, you're correct that psychic typing offensively is going to struggle. And if you run into any dark type, using that psychic move offensively becomes very difficult. Um, however, with the tinted lens giving you unresisted access to hitting things, there's a lot of creativity with, that comes with that. You could tear a normal hyper voice with tinted lens with choice specs and just do a lot of damage and they can't resist it if you have, even if they have rock steel types you know obviously if they have a ghost that could be an issue but like you get the point like there's other ways you can use this and i think it's not something that you're using as a support like yeah it could click tailwind sometimes sure but most of the time you want this thing to be dealing damage and i think with 65 speed it opens up the door for it to be a trick room sweeper you could in a matchup that doesn't have a dark type you could just run tinted lens with esper wing next to like a redirector which is not on this team but or like you know any other kind of support and you can just boost up and if they don't have terra dark not they can't resist it right with specs so i think that having that threat is available that being said i like everything else in this team too i think this is honestly like one of the higher end teams that we looked at it's a wide tonight. team and it's a fast team but here's I yeah. think, an important question it's only a fast team if the fast mons can actually like if you pile two hits can they actually take a ko and i'm not sure that the fast mons like because if you need bisharp or golurk or braviary to, to, to get the double up and, and ko something then the team is not effectively that fast um if it needs these mid-speed mons can zeb strike a wild charge kind of get there maybe Cyclozar 85 attack, uh, Draco Meteor, maybe the Tauros clicking close combat specifically is quite strong. Um, it's like the, the fast mons are, are impressive. So like this is a wide fast team if the fast mons can get it done. And I think that's a key if. Yeah, I do like Zeb Strika. Um in the, really? the lost yeah, recording. I, shouldn't be four I was much higher on it than yeah. in the faster second take. Um, I, you know, I, I mean, Lightning Rod is great. Sap Zipper is great. Uh, it's got some good moves that are usable, right? It's got it's got Wild Charge. It's Overheat, not high horsepower. Zep Shark is good. Yeah, it's got some good stuff. Uh, is it's it not killing? Because if it's not super... killing and we need Bisharp to finish the job, then are we fast? Yeah, well, Bisharp sucker punches, so it's not nothing. But that's true. That's true. Um, Golark, Garlic, one of the most functional ground types we have in the format. Like, I see the seed team, I think it's pretty high on stuff. High on numbers, high on stuff. Seems like a pretty good team. So, it, yeah. I have it above all of the teams except Sam Axes and uh, Red Pancakes. So, that's yeah, a good I, first I, drafting effort in the VBL. I quite anyway, like lower. this team. Yeah. Yeah, I, li I, yeah, I think I it's like I a solid mid tier B team, like B tier team. Yeah, yeah, up at the top it might be. Yeah. Cool. All right, we yeah. finish off with Electric the aggro royalty uh, i love it i love the speed and the power but i am not the one giving the intro is daddy still with us after all these no uh, well daddy. he's not dead <laughs> he is still with us but i'll talk about the team because so i mentioned i i had not looked at this team basically at all until uh technical difficulties and i just sort of peeked ahead a little bit and i am into this team uh, it's got a pretty excellent type chart. It's got a lot of Pokemon that I like. It's got bulk four days. Uh, maybe the average. Years? Well, it's got bulky Pokemon, and I like them. Uh, it's got Hydrapple is is pretty. Uh, Claude Sire lives lots and lots of stuff. Um, the Skarmory is great on the on the physical side. We've got Intimidate Staravia. Like it's got good stuff. And when I look at this team, I see, like, I, I see bulkiness, even if maybe it also has a Weavile and a Jolteon and some frail stuff like Espeon and Timber or whatever, whatever. Um, but it, what it does have is Pokemon I like, and I'm not often high on Electric's teams. Uh, and they 
quite often do better than me, so, you know, scoreboard. But um, <laughs> uh, I, I like this team. I think it's got cool stuff. It's got Pokemon I like. And I think it's probably got a, got a shot at being a pretty good contender this season. Yeah, I, I'm really liking, um, I tend to be more of a fan of aggressive teams than James, but the fact that it has swayed James somewhat and swayed me, I think is a really promising sign. Uh, Electric called Hydrapple a total build around Pokemon. It seems frankly overpowered for the low tier format. Like if you look at the stats and you don't look at its 4X ice weakness and you assume that you get to terror it or fake out or whatever and try to protect it. But is this Mon the centerpiece of a great team or is it a good Mon on a good team? I don't think even in this team though, like it, it is the center face. I don't think this team has a center face to, to be honest, because like it doesn't, it, it, it's, I don't think Hydrapple is always doing the most work on this team. I think the, the combination of Jolteon Weavile is, in my opinion, just because like one of the two of them is probably going to get to go off and, you know, Weavile can deal with the ground types that Jolteon can't deal with. And Jolteon, I think, is so powerful Ooh, in this low tier format. Yeah, that it, good point. Yeah, that it can deal with like everything else. So I really like those two fast offensive threats. And then like if you're either forced into Trick Room uh or you can i think in this this team can obviously like set up and then maintain trick room pretty well i mean setting up is actually hard with just espion and Bennett. but if you can get into trick room with this team then hydrapple can go off too but i don't think like you need to run the team through hydrapple or anything i think the the two fast offensive threats will do a lot of work yeah, this team is so hard on speed and making the game of speed war that frankly, Hydrapple can kind of like slide under the radar and it's like, okay, fine, I'm going second, but if, unless you have a nice move, I'm going to Fickle Beam you or I'm going to Leaf Storm you or I'm going to Earth Power you or Hydro Pump. This mod is very, very good. So if teams over uh, overemphasize trying to uh, win the speed war, then Hydrapple can kind of just go off. Quality this is like too. very strong with Mega Launcher. I feel like this is like the team with the most special attackers we've seen on all, all night, right? Like this team does not have the yeah. issue that a lot of other teams have yeah. where it's like you run into That's a burn, a you run into a reflect, you run into an iron defense body press. And like, if you lost your one or two special attackers, you know, you might just lose the game. Like electric's not really gonna have that issue. And it's really strong offense too. I mean, we have big numbers, 120, on an attacking stat is really high for this format. And we have one, two, Ooh, three, yeah, four, one thirty nine four it's, mons it's with strong, it. Strongest special attacker. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously so, it all looks better when you cut the babies, but like this team is is the numbers are there and not just the speed. So yeah, the, big this numbers. is how you squeeze out the most out of a low tier format. I mean this team just seems very flexible. A lot of things you can do with it. It seems like if you do lose one of the sets and one of the games, you're just gonna come back and you're gonna be able to make that adjustment and hopefully play better the second and third game. So I think he did a lot of great things here and I don't see, I mean, I don't see a lot that's really bad. I mean, Timbers- I, Yes, we have enough. the believers. Electric has long pushed yeah. aggressive high tempo teams, but I think this team has found the perfect balance where it is able to play in a slower paced environment with certain mons if it needs to. And so it seems really flexible, as you said, Bo top tier for me the one thing that concerns me a little bit is positioning with this team because you have a, a threat and weavile that wants to lead uh a lot of the time i feel like and if you run into a counter lead against weavile it doesn't have a great way of like there's not i don't feel like there's a great switch in and so i wonder if like lead matchups will end up being very volatile for this and maybe like again i so i i did a an exhibition match against electric and i have got the read on my team which like makes any lead kind of volatile because it's trapping so so maybe that's like sure. impacting the way i'm viewing this team but i do think like i i worry about this team's ability to to switch and play defensively to a lot of like time. adjust kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well yeah. adjust between games to games i'm less worried but adjust yeah, within, within the game in the but match, within yeah. Yeah, yeah within yeah. a game I, I worry a little bit but that your being said i still love this to game. kill your pokemon yes exactly and that's like that when it works it's great yeah, but that's if just it how doesn't it's gonna work. be no i think that's i think that's a very fair concern but uh yeah. so we have this as one of the strongest teams if they realize their potential this is your tent toad school toad 
tentacle division? What are the? I don't know. Pop and Pop and name these divisions. I don't know. These are know. eight low tier teams among experienced <laughs> drafters who I think largely did a good job. Um, I'd see no very sus teams, even the all NFE team. So good job, division. Onwards into season three. Get hype, everybody.